good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, famous structures of Western Armenia Bagash frontries, shorts are periodically fight in the direction of the contact line with Nahijevan. Among the effective mechanisms of fighting enemies are face patriotism and professionalism. David Babayan, one route will tell about Armenia while making, bringing a large number of tourists to Armenia. The ecology of Western Armenia is under threat again. Playgrounds will be built in five villages of Akhalkalak. Armenia values at a festival meeting of UNESCO masterpieces on the land of Oholko. Anab Khachadrian's works and Komitas Crane are played in a famous Tokyo concert hall. Bagash Fort is one of the prominent structures of Western Armenia was first mentioned by the 7th century historian Sebeos. According to legend, the foundation of the fortress is associated with the name of Alexander the Great. In 1849, the Turkish authorities captured Bagash, destroyed the fortress and many other structures. Then Bagash turns into the center of the village of the same name. In June 1915, the Armenian population of the entire district was subjected to terrible programs, after which Bagash ceased to be an Armenian. On February 18, 1916, the first Armenian volunteers led by Commander Andrani captured Bagash fortress. Soon, Turkish troops recaptured Bagash, finally liberating it from Armenians. This is one of the latest examples of the deportation of indigenous peoples, which occurred both decades before the genocidal actions and was repeated in 119 by Turkish gangs. The Armenian Azerbaijani contact line in direction of Nahijevan has been periodically shelled for more than a week. The last official announcement was yesterday in response to the report of the Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan that Armenian units opened fire on the eastern section of the Armenian Azerbaijani border. The Defense Minister of the Republic of Armenia issued a refutation and claimed the opposite that during the same period it was the units of Azerbaijan armed forces that opened fire on Armenian combat positions and only by some actions of the Armenian side the fire of Azerbaijan Azerbaijan units was suppressed. Before the incident, there was reports on shooting at positions protecting settlements on the road leading to the villages of Khachik and Yelpin of Ayot's door. Recently, Armenia have been talking about the danger of large-scale provocation by Azerbaijan at the highest level. According to Armenian Foreign Minister Arat Mirzoyan, where the world's attention is focused on Ukraine, Azerbaijan can commit a large-scale provocation at any moment. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh, David Babayan, wrote on his Facebook page, Yes, the Armenian people are a great people, and a very great people has great virtues. This is a well-known phrase in foreign policy. There is a well-known phrase in foreign policy. There are no permanent friends and permanent enemies. There are permanent interests. Among the effective mechanisms for combating these internal enemies are face, patriotism and professionalism. These values should be rooted from childhood, supported at the highest state level. Wine making is one of the most promising areas in Armenia. Anima Nasserian, the head of the CEO of Wine Program, gave an interview about the next program for the development of the sphere within the framework of Armen Press broadcast. The head of the program stressed the main goal is the development of wine tourism in Armenia. I would like to know that in order to achieve this goal, wine routes were developed during the program, wine and art, wine and adventure, wine and gastronomy, etc. For all this, we have prepared a website on which all wineries of Armenia, their history, and a list of tourists services are presented in order to improve tourist services. Courses were organized for interested parties of winemaking, Animan Servian said. Animan Servian noted that the program includes the routes of Black Sea, Basin, Armenia, Greece, Georgia and Ukraine. Residents of Arek village, Kuk village, Burakam province, Western Armenia have been fighting against the mining project for 11 years. They accidentally found out about the approval of project and are determined to fight mining operations that pose a great danger to the environment. The project previously adopted by the government decision, but concealed as a result of the protest that the residents of Arek village of Kuk district have been reconfirmed. This mining project starts in Dersim and threatens various regions of Western Armenia. In fact, the government's profit-seeking policy directly threatens threatens the health and people and generates environmental problems, in particular the territories between Burakan and Dersim, Western Armenia against those processes that harm the ecology of Western Armenia. Akhalkalak City Hall announced an electronic tender for the construction and installation of sport grounds and playground in five villages of municipality. This program will operate in villages of Delishka, Hokan, Asmana, Karsep and Buzavet. The total amount of the tender is 68,000 lari. The deadline for the electronic contest is July 18th. It should be noted that this year it is planned to install two sport grounds in Akhalkalak.
with the cooperation of the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Armenia, as well as the Ministry of Culture and Spiritual Development of the Republic of Sakha and the local Armenian community, Armenia participated in the fourth meeting of UNESCO Masterpieces on the land of Olonjo, held under the auspices of UNESCO in Yakuts at the International Festival. It was dedicated to the culture, heritage of Russia and different peoples of the world. About 100 representatives of Armenia and other countries took part in it. At the end of the festival, Armenian popularized the dance Kochari and the epic Sasunti David listed on a UNESCO list of intangible culture heritage of mankind. On July 12th at the Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra and in Armenia in 2021, at the initiative of the Japanese conductor Daichi Deguchi, who won the Hachatria Music Competition, the third and final concert of the circle dedicated to the 13th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Armenia and Japan took place in Tokyo. The concert was held with the assistance of Array Embassy in Japan. The concert program consists of Aram Hachatrian's violin and symphony concert, as well as some experts from Guyana's ballet. The performances were warmly received by Japanese audience and received prolonged applause. Ambassador Areko Vanisian expressed gratitude to the organizers of the event and the orchestra for the efforts made and the higher level of performances for the concert. Now a musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.